Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and our year to shine. Today's video is going to be about planning a March 2021 that shines. And so I always like to bring forth my list of things. Last year with our Simple Abundance journey, we had Sarah Bond Bronick's Joyful Simplicities. And I shared with you that I always make a little uh, page for my planner for each month. And sometimes there are things still in here from Sarah. Like I was looking back at last year's and you can actually see right here in the video. One of the things that she encouraged us to do with, with spring on the way, and it's like March can sometimes just feel like this lingering winter, right? She says to get daffodils and other spring bulbs uh, to have around. So I already got some daffodils. I usually, this is nothing that Sarah had, but I usually do get some sort of a new, like a springy sort of dishcloth for the spring, um, for the kitchen. It's like when you think of spring cleaning or just sort of like brightening things up, that's always just been a spring activity for me. And also we have our fun little unknown uh, special days for March and and also a more known day is St. Patrick's Day. So you might consider if you if you have Irish heritage or not, you might consider doing something that's related to the uh, the Irish tradition. Like um, you could listen to music, you could watch movies um, from from there, you could uh, eat food from there. Yeah, and actually, <laughs> just thinking of that, because St. Patrick's Day, you think of green, and I'm going to read off some of the fun uh, March days that you could consider to celebrate in addition, because March 2nd, tomorrow, is Dr. Seuss Day, so I know some people do green eggs and ham, so you could do that. Now, did you ever know that March 10th was the International Day of Awesomeness? <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought that was pretty neat. And I was just listening to a motivational video earlier and there was something about just like, show your awesomeness and stuff like that, you know? And I was thinking like, wow, that, that's kind of like the, the awesome day coming up. March 14th is Pi Day, you know, the 3.14 blah, 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 Pi. But some people celebrate it with Pi and I might do that. Uh, the 20th is Won't You Be My Neighbor Day. It's uh, Mr. Rogers. I think it's actually his birthday. Um, and so that is a day that you could watch Mr. Rogers or you could uh, you could watch the documentary or you could watch the movie that Tom Hanks was in. Both of those are really good. The 21st is Crazy Sock Day. I have some fun socks that I could wear for that. The 25th is Waffle Day. And I guess that, I looked that up, it's also August 24th too. So I guess there's more than one Waffle Day. But that could be fun. When I was growing up, we had a waffle maker. I actually don't have one right now, but I like waffles. You know, sometimes you stay at a hotel and they have like those giant Belgian waffle things. Those are cool. And the 31st is Crayon Day. Those are the ones that I wrote down. I'm sure if you Google what, sort of interesting March days there are that there's more. So there's that. There's also St. Patrick's Day, so you can think of that. Remember that spring is coming, and we're going to be springing ahead with the clocks, too. Uh, so don't forget that. But also the equinox is coming up, and uh, I always try to mark the season change in some way. And for the spring, I usually try to have some sort of a special meal. And I did talk to you guys last year. There's a whole video for the spring equinox that was sort of like, um, I tied it in with Easter as well, that with the food that I will make, sometimes it's like I do have eggs and things like that, which are known for the spring and Easter time. And I want to get every year in Simple Abundance, she always mentioned the pussy willows. I want to get some pussy willows because I like them. And on that note, you saw my my mantle display for the winter, so that's on my list to make a new. I mean, I might I might keep some of the things that are up there, but uh, to make a new one that's more springy, and 
more bright because this one that's there now is definitely wintry looking and there's some things like greens and stuff that um, like from pine trees so I think I'll try to add some flowers and colors so you also could and you could look back at my video from last year about this too you could grow a little uh, spring basket with grass like I had cat grass last year that I did and Annabelle liked some of that. Um, this is the time of year too that you want to be thinking ahead to to summer and what you might want to do in your yard. So I like to take this time and sort of like look at pictures and remember if you have an illustrated discovery journal then you can paste those pictures in there or you can maybe have a Pinterest and save all your favorite ones or just a file on your computer or something with your favorite things. And also, this might be the time where you, well, it's probably later in the month, but where you start to sort of reevaluate your wardrobe change for the next season too. So maybe this is some time where you decide that you're gonna purge some things from your closet. The, the month of, of March and April last year in our Simple Abundance year was when we were going through the closet and everything and we were taking things out that we never wore. So maybe if you didn't do that last year, you could. And also you know that I am uh, giving money each month to a cause and uh, I've chosen those in a fun way the last two months. And um, Mar February was a personal one for me. Um, January was one that I, I grouped into a gift um, for somebody as a thank you. And so March is actually gonna be one of the ones that a friend of mine, um, not gonna give it away because some of you that I know, you might be involved because you might benefit from what I'm gonna do for, for that charity. But um, a friend of mine's husband is involved in a, in a cause every year and I just I actually I don't think I've ever supported it in the past I've always supported her in a walk that she does in the fall whenever I can but this year I'm gonna support his cause because it means a lot to both of them and it's fun and some of my local friends are gonna benefit from it and I think you'll like it <laughs> so that's something for you to look forward to and speaking of that you know that I have my my new March envelope that I just opened yesterday. And I've been trying to think of how I can actually fit it all into one day. I think it's actually gonna be something that I'll be working on a lot. It's so windy out, you can hear the wind. Um, I think it's gonna be something that I'll be spreading out because not only are a lot of those coloring pages really intricate, but I think I want to investigate things more. So I think I'll take the weekends like, and just make it a weekend thing. And I want to look and see which uh, places that are in the coloring book that I can watch videos on and learn about. And uh, it, I was actually going to buy a, a map and plot the places out. But then I l noticed that in the book there's a map and so it has all of them in there. And there's like 42 to 45 of them. So there's a lot. So. It's almost like I could do, I could look at one one house every day. So there's a lot in there. And I have vacation coming up too. The office that I work is going to be closed for a week in the middle of the month. So I am going to take some time off even from my work that I do at home too. So um, I did have a plan that I was going to go away and I had this place selected and everything and then it, it ended up getting booked up. but. I'll figure something else out and I may be moving in the next month again to an I mean it shouldn't be a big move but I I may be moving to another unit in the complex that I live in which I'm I'm looking forward to because I you know there's things like my loud neighbors and <laughs> stuff that I'll be glad to hopefully get away from and not have over there too but um, so I may, I may during, during that vacation time, actually, I may be preparing for that, that little mini move because it will just be like, you know, it's on the other side. So it's not like the next building over, but, um, yeah, so that's, that might be coming up. I don't know if that'll be the end of this month or next month. And I always leave spaces, uh, for 
for extra things and also to, to make note of my unforgettable day too. And uh, I have to tell you too, the next book that we're gonna be talking about is one that I mentioned last year in one video, but I have not done a whole big long study on it for a channel like this. It is Brene Brown's The Gifts of Imperfection. So the reason, I thought that was the wind again, but the reason that I chose this one is because we just came off of reading Madly in Love with Me. And I know that I was forthcoming about how much of a struggle it was for me and that a lot of my own issues about having trouble accepting myself are because of so many imperfections. And so this book kept coming to my mind because Brene is very much about embracing what you might think is quote unquote wrong with you, but in celebrating the things that like the gifts that come out of that and how it makes you unique. So I thought that, that going through that last book uh, was a good jumping off point for this. And it's a short read, see that? You can get it on audio. It still might be one you would wanna have in your hands though because what's similar to Sarah's book from Simple Abundance last year is that she, like, cause Sarah has the principles, right? Uh, but Brene has what she calls guideposts. And I did, like I said, I feel like it was in, it was in March or April last year uh, that I did a video that included this. Like, uh, I just went over some of the guideposts. It was only maybe like 10 minutes of the video, if that. But this is gonna be, for the month of March, a, a study of this book. And I read it, 2014-15 uh, timeframe, and I uh, haven't revisited it, so I think it will be good with a new frame of mind to be looking at it. And then I uh, did do, I did, there's a kitty, I did uh, do a book club on this with somebody, so I, uh, I I have some notes from that. And I think Brene, even on her website, has some tools for people that may be doing a book club about this. So I think it's gonna be good. Um, just to give you a little bit of a sense of it, uh, let go of who you think you're supposed to be and embrace who you are. So again, we're always on this channel talking about authenticity and really being who you are. and. I'll just read you the guidepost really quickly. Cultivating authenticity, obviously, right? Cultivating self-compassion, cultivating a resilient spirit, cultivating gratitude and joy, cultivating intuition and trusting faith, cultivating creativity, cultivating play and rest, cultivating calm and stillness, cultivating meaningful work, cultivating laughter, song, and dance. So you can see how there's quite a bit of tie uh, crossover, I should say, with Sarah's principles that are on all of my thumbnails, and then also some of the things from the Enough book and from the book that we just read, Madly in Love with Me, too. So I think we'll be able to talk about a lot of things, and I hope that you'll be with me, and you can definitely get this one at the library. It shouldn't be hard to find. So thanks again. Um, yeah, so this is March. <laughs> And we're gonna make it shine. Oh, I forgot to say too, you know how I choose something each month to be my, like so February was a star, January was a candle. I actually had chosen one for March, but I'm changing it now because I love the card that I got that I saw, showed you guys yesterday on the envelope reveal with the suns on it and how it said that the sun, the, shun, the sun shines from within us. So I decided that my, my symbols, the shining symbol for March for me is gonna be a sun. And I was even thinking about maybe scanning that and making that the, the front. I haven't, I've been lazy. I, I haven't made my, I mean, I have the back part with the things to check off, but I haven't um, scanned it and put it in my planner yet. So I will. So let's shine together and I will see you on the next video. Okay. Thanks.